Okay, next question. Yeah, since you guys mentioned, describe and explain. Ikuze. Come, let's go. Miso is a transmissible disease. Okay, so in this graph, it shows you that the data were collected between 1975 to 2010. Yeah? Okay, calculate the percentage change in the number of cases of missile between 1980 and 1990. Okay, I always like to circle or highlight what I want to find so that you can see clearly. Okay, come. The number of cases is on this side. The percentage of population vaccinated is on this side. Yeah? Okay, so look carefully the key. Huh? So you want to find this. Okay, now 1980. So it will be here. What is this value? Okay, here. Huh? 140,000. Okay, 1990. Okay, 14,000. Okay, guys, how to find the percentage change? It will be decreasing, right? Okay, it will be decreasing okay so one four zero 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 for forty thousand one hundred forty thousand minus fourteen thousand remember guys divide it with the original one always divide with the original value okay and times hundred can you guys tell me what is the value 90 percent thank you very good okay always divide with the original value yeah okay awesome Okay, there is one more for this one. Guys, okay, so you know this is coronavirus season, right? Make sure all the disease, the whole topic about disease, you are familiar with it. Okay, high chance they will come up with disease. I just say high chance, lah, huh? Okay, not 100%. Okay, come, write it down. Explain how vaccination protects people against transmissible disease, such as missile. Okay, guys, come. Tell me, what is vaccine? What is it? What is it? Correct, correct. Yes. Vikram <laughs> Satojan. Thank you, Jensen. Active immunity, correct. <laughs> okay, vaccination is injections of vaccine. Okay, which is what? Weaken or dead pathogen. Very good. Okay, so what is the importance of the vaccine? It will stimulate what? Trigger, not so soon, not so soon, a fix. Immune response, yes, mention immune response first. Too soon, you guys, too soon. You have to mention immune response first. Then only you mention the lymphocyte. Too fast already. Okay, uh, step by step. So we say that antigen present on the pathogen. Okay, you have to mention the antigen. So it will stimulate immune response okay now only you talk about the white blood cells so lymphocyte will secrete antibodies and produce memory cells memory cells will be the one that gives you long-term immunity yeah okay very good step by step people okay so this provides long-term immunity, okay? We call this as active immunity. So guys, don't so kanchong, okay? One by one first, don't kanchong. Antibodies complementary to the shape of the antigen, okay? Huh? All right. Yes, cause active immunity, correct, okay? So injections of vaccine, which is a weakened, Okay, or dead pathogen. Okay, you mentioned what is vaccine. Antigen present on the pathogen, guys. Please mention this, please. Because this one just newly added to your syllabus. So I'm pretty sure they want you to mention this. Okay, which stimulate immune response. If it come out, like, huh? finger cross. Then your lymphocyte will secrete antibodies. One marks and produce memory cells too much then this will provide long-term immunity okay or we call them as active immunity vaccination is a process vaccination is a process what do you inject vaccine and what is vaccine weakened or dead pathogen okay guys next one 
the body okay has several defense mechanism what is the chemical barrier okay stomach acid very good okay thank you people stomach acid hydrochloric acid and also your mucus okay since we talk about this can you guys tell me what is the physical barrier skin nose hair very good nasal hair very good people okay if they ask you about cell lymphocyte phagocyte done okay very good come next one describe the process of blood clotting this is very straightforward people okay write it down you have to mention what platelets so the platelets will secrete chemical okay so what do we what does it convert stimulate the conversion of fibrinogen to fibrin okay guys a lot of you yes thank you soluble to insoluble thank you jensen correct yes okay so remember fibrinogen is soluble okay you want to make it insoluble ma? right now only it can trap the wound okay it can cover the wound okay if you guys forget the long one become the short one the longer words become the shorter words fibrinogen become fibrin okay insoluble secret chemical so if you mention platelets you get one mark you mention the conversion you get two marks okay now you have to mention what it will form a mesh it will form a mesh to trap the rbc okay if you mention form a mesh you get three marks done that's it okay yeah that's it no need to mention prothrombin to thrombin okay no need because they removed from your syllabus already yay so just this one that's it okay so means that remember blood clotting means what you are trapping the red blood cells you trap the red blood cells this is blood clotting yes you can mention it will dry up to form scab it will dry up to form scab but this also removed from your syllabus already uh, if you mention i think they will give you the marks uh. but whatever that i mentioned here is the important ones that include in your syllabus so whatever extra will be given as extra mark the mesh will dry to form not okay you see a uh, scab is not only the mesh guys scab is this whole thing this whole thing is the scab so te technically it's your red blood cells that is being trapped that is the whole thing we call them as the scab the black black thing is your red blood cells the, what is the black black thing okay welcome okay guys come 